Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the BMW 318. Now, today's video isn't about this car but it's a very different kind of video. So I was thinking when you're buying a used car, there are several thoughts. I mean, which car to buy, which, which, you know, which brand to go for and what exactly to look for in a second and uh, a used car. But there are very vague details if you go on the internet um, which tells you what to look for specifically in a car. Now today's video is all about that on what to look for when you buy a used car. So I'm going to show you five tricks to look into a car when you're buying a car and if you find any of these five points that I mentioned any of this is wrong then you shouldn't just go ahead with buying that car. These five points will be the precisely the points that you should be looking for and if those are okay I mean your car is going to be lasting for a long time let's start showing you what it is so the first thing to start off when you get into a used car is first to see if there are any oil leakages now how can you do that is basically you start the car and what you do is the first thing you do is check before starting the car just check all the pipes basically the coolant pipes the uh, intake pipes and there are several different pipes that you can check the brake pipes everything all of that and just make sure there aren't any leakages but another top tip is once you start the car just move the car a little behind or in the front and check underneath the puddle because now if the car is leaking and it is sitting for a while it surely would have given you a bit of oil down which is an indicative that there is something wrong with the car and and maybe a gearbox leak or an engine oil leak or somewhere there's a leakage basically from the transmission side and that is why there is a puddle of oil underneath it basically if the car is sitting overnight it should show you that and that's the first point that you should look for now the next point is very interesting now you have to basically check the exhaust uh, there are like different types of smoke that you should notice once you start the car now the first of the smoke is if you get a white smoke from the exhaust tips then basically that means that there is a coolant that is burning inside the exhaust now that can be because the engine block is basically inside is mixing the coolant is actually entering inside the cylinders uh, and then it is actually burning off and that is why you get a white smoke now the next type of smoke is a little bluish smoke now if you tend to see a gray bluish smoke now that basically means that there is an oil the oil that is going into the cylinders and that is burning its way out now an engine uh, oil leaks into the cylinders uh, and inside the engine block because the pistons have the piston rings around now that makes sure that there is a compression inside your cylinder which is airtight and in order to make sure that 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 that, that pressure is maintained inside the system of the engine and the piston blocks and the cylinders now that happens once the piston rings they start degrading so what happens is the pressure uh, goes down and what that does is the oil which is underneath the the engine block which is which is helping in lubricating all the parts that oil starts to go into the cylinders and that starts burning from your exhaust tips now the third type of smoke that you should be wary about is when you get a black smoke now black smoke is an indication that it's the 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 engine is burning rich fuel and there isn't enough of air or probably less air and more fuel so it's a fuel rich mixture and that is why there is a black smoke that is coming out and it's an ex excessive burning of uh, uh, fuel now what happens is when you floor the, the, the car wouldn't show you the black smoke initially but when you floor or when you try to uh, increase the rev of your engine and if you spot it and there's a black smoke that means it's an indication that it is burning oil for uh, I'm sorry the fuel for sure now the third point to look for and this is also a very important point is to look for the rust now of if, if the car is very old or if the car is being washed basically every single day with with a lot of water then there are chances that the car is rusted now how to figure that out is 
Probably if you're buying a used car and the dealer has a jack facility, make sure to lift the car up and see the underside of the car to make sure there's no rusting and make sure the chassis isn't rusted and the, the major pipes, I mean exhaust pipes will be a bit rusted because over the time they tend to get rusted, but that's, that's still not a problem. But other pipes like the brake hose, the, the, the main chassis, the members and all of it around, make sure to check that and a top tip is if you if the dealer doesn't have a jack then what you can do is use your simple cell phone switch on your camera switch on the lights uh, the the camera lights and just go underneath swipe the the camera under the body your phone under the body and just make sure to check that video out and see if there are any signs of rusting. Now the fourth point is to check for cloudy oil. Now cloudy oil is basically when the engine block is mixing the oil and the coolant. So when you release the oil from the transmission, you would find as a very, or, or the engine oil, you would find it very cloudy, uh, which, is, which is kind of opaque and the the best way to find out is when you see the dipstick and you take that out and see if there are any signs for any blackish or even uh, the smoky color but if you spot that uh, the smoky liquid the oil then make sure to get that change or because the problem may be that there is a gasket issue with the engine and that is why all the fluids are mixing inside and that is the reason why there is a cloudy oil. So make sure to get that checked. Another important point is to also check for the bells, the engine bells, the, the alternator belt and which every single belt that you can find on your engine. If, if it shows any signs of any wear and tear, make sure to just get that replaced or if the dealer doesn't replace it, make sure to stay away from that car because over the time the belt may give up or if you're on a long journey, the belt may just give up and you would end up with a bigger problem. Now the fifth and another important point to check in a used car is the dashboard lights. Now, whenever you switch on the car and after a while, just give it about five seconds or something and just wait for any dashboard warning lights. Now, dashboard warning lights are pretty much uh, the very important signal from the car which indicates what is wrong with it and there are certain categories of warning lights which if they are popping up on your dashboard then that means it's it's a very critical issue if they are the red ones basically to deal with the engine or if uh, the orange one i'm sorry basically to deal with the abs the engine or so many different lights and those are very important and if they pop up that means there's a very serious issue either with the abs system or the electronic system with the car or an engine problem which may be a very big bill later on once you buy the car so make sure to just check all the, the lights basically shouldn't stay on your dashboard once you start the car and that's an indication that the car is in a proper condition. Now, I've also made a video, uh, the link should be coming up anytime now out here and the video is basically on the 15 different warning signs from your dashboard that you should be making sure not to miss it out and because if you spot them on time and get it uh, corrected or or whatever the fault is in the engine you or, or with the car if you get that corrected on time then you may save a lot of money and time in future so make sure ooh, that's a lot of wind it's it's quite a windy day i don't know whenever i start filming it just becomes too cloudy and very windy but again it's a, it's a very cool day and who doesn't want a cool day <laughs> anyways so yeah so just make sure that you get your dashboard lights figured out so those were the five important points that you should consider while buying the, a used car as i mentioned before if there are any problems or if any of these five signs are visible in the car then just do not go ahead with buying that car anyways as you can see it's become quite dull and it is about to rain any moment soon. As a matter of fact, I can already feel some drops falling. And I'll be making more of these kinds of videos as well as you all have requested. And I am working on that to make sure I get more of these 
helpful videos for you guys and also in the meantime make sure to check out my other videos a lot of trips and a lot of personal user experience about this car is go also going to be coming up on my channel so make sure you subscribe to that as well and in case you have any suggestions about what my next video should be on or if you have any topics in mind make sure to write that in the comment section below give it a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to share and subscribe for more videos to come until we meet next time bye bye